Uh, just about every call so far tonight has tied into the Ferguson, Missouri continued. I don't know if you want to call it a crisis. It's a pretty serious situation there where uh, you got protesters out in the streets, not only protesters, but also probably some agents, provocateur, uh, government agents sort of ginning up more violence. And also looters are uh, going in and destroying storefronts and taking out uh, property. And amidst all of that, of course, the police are responding with uh, appears to be in a lot of cases some inappropriate levels of violence. There was the shooting of um, one Michael Brown, who is an 18-year-old young man, allegedly shot in the back by a police officer who for a while was not being named. And finally, the information was released, I think, thanks part in part due to Anonymous, some of their efforts, from what I understand. Yeah. There have been uh, more details here. In fact, let me give you a little bit more info. We've got folks who have been waiting patiently. We're going to jump right back into your calls. But as I mentioned, uh, there has been a curfew put into effect Starting tonight, so according to the story from stltoday.com, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, the governor has uh, declared a state of emergency and ordered a curfew to apply to Ferguson. It goes into effect at midnight tonight and runs until 5 a.m. Officials did not provide details on the curfew boundaries. We also don't know at this time if there will be uh, exemptions for people who are, let's say, going to work. For instance, you know, people work in a late shift uh, trying to get from point A to point B. What will that be like uh, if you are trying to get to your job, let's say, I don't really care. Um, you should be free to get out of your, leave your house at any time of the day or night. You should Or be. you're not yeah. in a free country. No, you're not in a free country. Surprise. Well, <laughs> I know that. Right. But my biggest concern here isn't. Because I, I understand there's, you know, it, does, it looks like it could very well be that we have bad actors on both sides or, you know, maybe one side is righteous and the other side isn't. I don't know the answer to that I suspect specifically. there are more than two sides involved in this, Mark. Well, there's a guy, there's a, a shooter there's protesters, and a dead person. There's protesters, and then there's protesters. looters, there's police. But the protesters have a lot of, well, there's looters certainly, but yeah. the protesters have a, you know, we don't, we don't know the specifics as the last caller said, but here's one thing we do know specifically, that we, as the public, that the public servants, the police officers, have never, not in their history, made an effort to keep us informed. Now, this is supposed to be a democratic republic where we, the people, are the government. Mm -hmm. You can't be the government if you are misinformed and uninformed. We, it's 2014. The technology exists that cameras, uh, officer-mounted and car-mounted cameras can be uploaded immediately to the internet via cell phones. I mean, if you can play Pandora in your car, which I can, um, then you can upload video directly to the internet. There is no reason at all that we shouldn't have video of what happened on the internet that we can all look at and decide who's Believe right and who's not, wrong. Mark, not everyone has a smartphone yet. So. They're police officers, Ian. They can be issued right. smartphones. I see what you're saying. You meant from the police's perspective. That's I the you people were, we're talking about here. I thought here. you were blaming the witnesses, okay? I'm Why sorry. Why would I, I blame the witnesses? It's not a witness's job. We're paying the police officers yeah. to do a job. They do not do that job. They do not serve. They have no obligation to serve well, you, sir, and they, you're not paying uh, you're And not it's paying not even the officers on the street. When's it's the, the brass that do not want us to get this information. When's the last time you signed a police officer's paycheck? Look, I'm telling you that they tell us a story. That story has to do with them being public servants right. and working for us. And the more you pay attention to what they actually do, the more you know that's just a story and it doesn't really apply. You can say and it or not, to, but yeah. until they start acting like they do, then I'm just going to call it out as a lie. They're, I pointed right. out it's a lie. Yeah, they are absolutely dis very dishonest. In fact, many police officers are trained to lie to try to get you to admit something and get yourself locked up. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 